Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did a peachy makeup look. Um, I used the um, Morphe 35F palette along with a few other eyeshadows. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so starting off, I applied my Avon Moisture Therapy Moisturizer and then I sprayed the Smashbox Primer Water all over my face. I am then going in with my Stila Stick Foundation and applying that all over the face. I am and clearly I don't see myself up on that list And she said where you wanna go How much you wanna risk I'm not looking for somebody With some superhuman gifts Some superhero Then I'm going in with my Tarte Shapey Concealer And applying that to the under eyes And the high points of the face Somebody I can kiss I want something just like this Do 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 I am then going in with my Cody Airspun powder and setting the concealer and foundation. I'm then going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Palette and I'm taking the contour shade and carving out the cheekbones. The moon and its eclipse and Superman rolls a suit before he lifts. But I'm not the kind of person that it fits. But she said, Where you want? Then I'm just sweeping away any of the leftover. Uh, translucent powder for my face. Next I'm taking the Revolution blush palette in the shade Sugar and Spice and I'm taking the peach shade from the palette and applying that to my cheeks. The Smashbox Casey Holmes highlighter palette. I'm taking the middle shade and applying that to the cheekbones. Then, using the Morphe 35F palette, I'm going in with that first matte shade on the bottom row and applying that to the crease as a transition color. Some superhero, some fairy tale bliss, just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. No, I want something just like this. Uh -huh. Oh, I want something just like this. Uh -huh. Oh, I want something just like this. And then with a third shade, I'm taking that and I'm deepening up the crease. I had a dream, we were sipping whiskey neat, eyes for the Bowery, and I was high enough. Somewhere along the lines, we stopped seeing eye to eye, you were staying out all night. And then I'm actually taking the Milani Luminoso blush and I'm applying that to the lids because it is a peachy color. I thought it would be the perfect shade for all over the lid. Then with 
the Lorac Pro 3 palette, I'm taking the shade Dark Brown and applying that in the outer corner. Take with me the Polaroids and the memories But you know I'm gonna leave behind the worst of us Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? Who's gonna rock you when the sun will lay sleep? And then with the shade Clay, I'm taking that and running it underneath the lower lash line. Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? Then with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Blonde, I am running that through my eyebrows to define them. Then going back in with the Morphe 35F palette and taking that third shade on the top row and applying that in the inner tear ducts and over the lid too. Off camera, I went ahead and applied my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And so that is it for the eyes, and this is what they look, how they turned out. And then for the lips, I'm going with the Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the shade Proper and applying that to my lips. And she said, where you wanna go, how much you wanna risk. I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale. Just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. I want something just like this. And then to add some extra shininess and glossiness, I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel and applying that. Alright guys, and that completes this peach makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you will, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!